Good morning. You know, in the United States, there's a statement you almost would never hear. You have to visit the train station here. It's absolutely beautiful. Well, in Japan, you do say that sort of thing. And there's one train station that I believe everyone would love for viewing, for shopping, for dining, and using the trains. The name of it, the Kyoto train station, otherwise known as Kyoto Eki. If you're going to spend some time in Kyoto, Japan, the train station is a big asset to understanding where you are, positioning it as a focal point for daily directions, utilizing the station as an asset to starting your day, and even benefiting from the lodging options, diverse meals, shopping, and information contained within it. Okay, first things first, I'm keeping this simple. There's no need to make this video twice as long with intricate details that no one's gonna remember. So I'm keeping this information basic for you. If you're in Tokyo, knowing where you are and how to get there is actually rather simple. It appears complicated, but it's merely intimidating. Think of Tokyo, more or less, as a round target like this. For example, this would be the main Tokyo train station, and on the rings expanding outward, you can find your destinations of the day. There's Skiji and Ginza and Shibuya, Akihabara, Ueno, and so forth. Then, you could just use the train lines to connect the dots. Now, Kyoto is a little different, but you can use the same target analogy, kinda. As you can see, the main train station isn't in the center, but near the bottom. But using the same connecting ring analogy, you're pretty good to go. So if you use the Kyoto train station as a reference point, when starting your day and finding your way back, it's a big help. But the best thing about the Kyoto train station is that it has everything you can imagine within one structure, offering you lots of resources, impressive in size and beauty, and as I stated before, it's a fantastic reference point for tourists like yourself. Okay, now let's start at the ground level. And again, I'm gonna keep this basic to ensure it's comprehensible for newbies. There's no point in getting super complicated. Here's the ground floor of the Kyoto train station. Now, this is the first floor of the main train station itself. This is where all of the trains and access to them occurs. For example, here's the lobby. Here's the JR lines, the above rail trains, and here's the bullet train lines. Right here, entrance to major shops and stores. And on one level lower than this, the subfloor, you can find more dining options and shopping than you can possibly handle. Wines, bookstores, clothing, and about 15 restaurants. I'm serious. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Now, on the outside of the train station, this is the bus station. If you want to take a bus to Kiyomizudera, Chionin, Gion, the Geisha District, the Golden Pavilion, the Castle of Tokugawa Ieyasu, these buses will get you there. All you need to do is walk over to this building, less than a half a block away from the buses themselves, and purchase your bus pass for the day. At the time that I'm making this video, the cost of a full day bus pass is 800 yen, or about $5.50 for all day use. Use the buses till you drop from exhaustion for $5.50 all day. And guess what? This might be the bus pass purchasing counter, but do you know what this is? It's a coffee and donut shop. Now, do you see this area with the stairs going down? This is direct access to the subway system in Kyoto. If you're planning to use the subways to get around Kyoto, Japan, this is how you get to the subway lines. And all around the subways, more shops and restaurants. Okay, now back to the main train station. As you go up the floors of the train station, floor after floor after floor after floor, there's tons of shopping for everything you can imagine. And on the 10th floor, well folks, that is my favorite floor. 
There are some rooms that are employee access rooms and storage rooms and small offices. But all of this, the entire rest of the floor, the 10th floor, is dedicated to ramen. The 10th floor, my dear friends, is the ramen floor and my favorite spot. It's called Kyoto Ramen Street, otherwise known as Kyoto Ramen Koji. And my favorite ramen on the 10th floor is Hakata Ikosha. And my favorite ramen from this place, Ajitama Kuro Ramen, a burnt black garlic ramen. And when I arrive in Kyoto, this is my first stop. And above the 10th floor, at the very top, a rooftop garden with a view of the entire city. How could you beat that? I cannot begin to tell you the number of times I've sat up here and just stared at this amazing view. Now, I've given you a very straightforward, simple explanation of the train station, where there are dining options, more shopping than you can possibly handle, JR lines, subways all over the city, and bullet train lines. I mean, everything you'll need. But within the train station itself, the Hotel Granvia, a fantastic place to stay. A little expensive compared to other hotels, but staying in the nucleus of Kyoto is very helpful. And even though this is a train station, the moment you walk into this station, it is not what you expect. This train station, especially in the main lobby, is gorgeous, a feat of architectural genius and grand design. And during Christmas time, well, forget about it. Everyone's jaw drops when they see this. And although I have been to this train station probably 200 times in the past 18 years, I can find just about anything I need here. Directions, dining, gifts, books, shopping, train passes, a McDonald's, access to the subways, a post office, buses, a ramen floor, bus passes, taxis, three convenience stores, conveyor belt sushi, four information booths, international ATMs, a grand hotel that includes restaurants and a spa, a view at the very top of the train station, luggage lockers, and even a professional luggage storage service. You name it, it is here. So take my advice, folks. Always remember that if and when you come to Kyoto, Japan, you spend a few hours getting to know the train station itself. Not only can it be the hub to start your day, but it offers access to anything you could possibly comprehend. For more information about the Kyoto train station, otherwise known as Kyoto Eki, as always, we provided helpful links and information, photos, what have you, beneath this video. And then as always, there's the Contact Us button. Click on it. You can contact me or my staff directly. For journeytojapan.com, I'm Carl Rosa. Thank you for watching.